Quinn Broadcasting, in association with the Northeast Atlantic Football League, presents Cobra Football. Let's join the action as the Cobras take on their rival. Here's your commentators for today's exciting game. Well, to coin a phrase that was made famous by the United States Postal Service, neither rain nor snow nor gloom of night will keep us away from doing the broadcasting here at the football stadium known as Jim Hersey Stadium. It's located here in the Bridgeton High School area. Jim Hersey Stadium, Memorial Stadium, I should say, at the Robert C. Thompson Family Sports Complex. Yours truly, Fred Melendez, for week number two of the Northeast Atlantic Football League semi-pro football activities. Uh, two teams that uh, had similar fates, in fact, identical fates last week as the uh, Cumberland Cobras de were defeated by the Cumberland Bullies 26 to nothing. Meanwhile, today's uh, visitors from Central Jersey, the Central Jersey Vikings, had the same exact score against the New, Jer New Jersey Militia, again, on the losing side of a 26 to nothing game. So hopefully one of these two teams will uh, end that goose egg on the win side of the columns and uh, we'll see how it goes but uh, we really i was concerned all day about the rain because they said it was going to rain pretty much throughout the night last night into the uh, morning and a pretty good part of the afternoon and i'll tell you some of that rain as you may know is very heavy but of course this kind of field uh, soaks it in pretty well it's not really a grass field as it's an artificial turf and uh, it soaked it up very well the playing conditions uh, for the field itself looked mighty good i walked around a little bit downstairs and saw that uh, it was good playing conditions and then talking to the vikings they don't mind playing in this kind of thing they were ready to go so uh, both teams uh, on the field are warming up for today's game and again both teams looking to get that first one of the season after some tough outings last week 26 to nothing scores in the losing uh, losing efforts both by the vikings and by the cobras and uh, the uh, wind conditions are the thing that's going to matter most. The rain has pretty much gone. Overcast skies and uh, a complete opposite of last week. You recall blue skies, sunshine, temperatures decent, and it was just a beautiful day for football last week. Uh, it took a half for the Bullies to come alive. The score was 0-0 at halftime between the Cobras and the Bullies, but uh, three key turnovers by the Cobras led to some points scored by the Bullies. And uh, they wound up winning that one going away 26 to nothing. They also included a uh, fumble recovery for a touchdown last week on the defensive side. So the Bullies really put it together in the second half to win that game 26 to nothing. The Cobras right there looking to uh, atone for that against the Central Jersey Vikings. And uh, certainly they're looking for better offensive numbers as last week they just couldn't get anything really generated. An interception, two fumbles. And uh, the uh, Bullies took advantage of that, especially in the second half. So we'll see how they handle the way things go today against Central Jersey. Both teams, again, uh, just looking for that first win of the season. Fred Melendez, glad that you're with us on Quinn Broadcasting Facebook Live, Quinn Broadcasting YouTube Live, also on Channel 22. And you can follow us on Instagram. It's QBCTV. Uh, on Instagram, so if those of you who have Instagram follow us there, you'll see all the various things that we do throughout the week, whether it's sport, sports, uh, talk shows and whatnot, all of that there. So by all means, uh, follow us on uh, Facebook, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Quinn Broadcasting, and follow us on Instagram at QBC TV 2 so the two teams getting ready to go here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, I guess, take a small break here because there's only so much I can say about these things right now. Nobody's really doing anything. But I want you to stick right there. Uh, share the uh, Facebook feed with others if you can. Uh, we'll try to mention some of the names that we see on the Facebook page. And uh, just, uh, of course, appreciate the fact that you're with us again for another uh, hopefully exciting game. Last week was pretty good until the Bullies took over in the second half. We'll take a break now and be back with a coin toss and, of course, the opening kickoff in just a moment. Many people treat their health like a game. With Complete Care Health Network, it's easy to start your health care journey. Just select from our specialties and schedule online, by phone or on our app. Our entire team communicates with one another, so everyone works together on your total health. Plus, we make it even easier with all of these additional benefits. Level up your health with us. Complete Care Health Network. No games, just great health care for everyone. 
I'm Bart Feldman, and this is TNF Camera. We are a full-line photographic studio and camera store. We invite you to come in and take a look at the products and services that we provide, from youth sports, high school sports, school pictures, and a wealth of photographic equipment. The advantages of coming to a store is you have the ability to talk to people and see exactly what you want to purchase beforehand. It's TNF Camera, 1362 South Delsey Drive here in Vineland. Mary, did you know your baby boy one day walked on water? New Life Church in Millville, New Jersey presents Mary, did you know? Join us Good Friday, March 29th at 7 p.m. Or Easter Sunday, March 31st at 11 a.m. for our original musical screenplay of the Cross of Christ. Admission is free. Bring the whole family and enjoy the story Mary, of Jesus. Did you know? Many people treat their health like a game. With Complete Care Health Network, it's easy to start your health care journey. Just select from our specialties and schedule online, by phone or on our app. Our entire team communicates with one another, so everyone works together on your total health. Plus, we make it even easier with all of these additional benefits. Level up your health with us. Complete Care Health Network. No games, just great health care for everyone. I'm Bart Feldman, and this is TNF Camera. We are a full-line photographic studio and camera store. We invite you to come in and take a look at the products and services that we provide, from youth sports, high school sports, school pictures, and a wealth of photographic equipment. The advantages of coming to a store is you have the ability to talk to people and see exactly what you want to purchase beforehand. It's TNF Camera, 1362 South Delsey Drive here in Vineland. Quinn Broadcasting, in association with the Northeast Atlantic Football League, presents Cobra Football. Let's join the action as the Cobras take on their rival. Here's your commentators for today's exciting game. There you see here at Jim Hersey Stadium, the uh, visiting team from North Jersey, Central Jersey, I should say the Central Jersey Vikings warming up in their gold outfits with the black numbers. And, of course, the Cobras are wearing blue, red pants, and white numbers. But both of these teams looking for their first one of the year. Fred Melendez along with uh, Commissioner John Saplinski. Hey, Glad to have you back. Oh, yeah, you got lucky. It's raining <laughs> in Hershey, PA. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, I was going up to uh, Hershey to go live with the uh, Mid-Pen Knights and the uh, – uh, Cumberland County Bullies and uh, the school district closed the field down. It was pretty bad up there, so I ended up uh, coming here today. There you go. Yeah. So that uh, their misfortune is our fortune, if you will. Yeah, glad I could help you guys out. Any uh, any new news on the league itself? Things that are going on? Yeah, it's a great week. You know, we had a great first week. Uh, there's a shift in the league. You know, uh, we got teams. You know, you come out with winners, you come out with losers, and uh, we're gonna see a lot of different today. Uh, everyone, for a lot of guys last week, you know, it's getting to know your team in some real action. You know, practice is one thing you're with your friends, but you go out there week one, anything can happen. I never judge a season on week one. So today you got two teams that are looking for the first win. This is going to be a great game. It's going to be a really good game. And of course, the conditions so much different than they were last week. Had sunshine and blue skies today. <laughs> uh, the rain, fortunately, has come and gone. Uh, rained all night last night and throughout the morning. Sometimes I saw that rain really coming down pretty good, but uh, I think it's pretty much stopped for now. So the conditions with the rain are gone. It's a little bit windy and brisk. I was down on the field, John, and I'll tell you, it's not exactly yeah, it's <laughs> spring windy. weather yet. It, no. You know, we had 70 degrees last week, and last night I went out to Philly, and I froze in Philly, and then it's cold here. And you see, I put my sweater on, which I never wear a hoodie. Um, teams look great. Uh, you know, we're going to have a good game today. All right, the two teams' captains are going to midfield, and all the referees and coach, uh, officials are lining up for the uh, coin toss. Again, glad to have you with us on all our avenues of watching. Quinn Broadcasting Facebook Live, Quinn Broadcasting YouTube Live, and on Channel 22, we are here with you as well. Fred Melendez, along with Lead Commissioner John Saplinski. The two teams shaking hands, and uh, we'll get that coin toss momentarily. 
But yeah, you have uh, both teams with some major incentive to win a game today. Yeah, uh, they're going to come out uh, playing some good football. You know, uh, when you get that first week loss, you, you're going to you're going to try to turn it around today. Out there, the team captains include Magic Mears, quarterback for the Cobras. Jamar Jackson, C11, yeah. 8, and 36, 76. That's uh, Anthony Morrow and yeah. Cam Bell. Cam Bell was one of the key running backs last week for the Cobras. Yeah, 2023 league MVP. Okay, looks like the Vikings won the toss and have deferred. They'll be kicking off, and the Bullies will have the first possession of the game. Again, anyone who's watching on Facebook Live, if you would share it with us, share it on your Facebook so that others can watch as well. We'd appreciate that. And we'll keep an eye on the Facebook page to see who is watching. Give you a little shout out as we can. Now, if you're the Cobra offense, you want to get something started. We talked about this last week, how you want to get something started on your first possession. Uh, hopefully they can do that. The running game was there. The passing game wasn't yeah. quite there. But, again, a new quarterback and everything. So, uh, hopefully that uh, we can practice this past turnovers week. Will help. Last week. Yeah, turnovers last week. Turnovers was, were very good. And you got a wet, wet field today, which means the ball is going to be wet. Your hands are going to be wet. So, ball handling, ball control uh, wins this game. Uh, you're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see some fumbles today. That's a, that's a guarantee. So the Cobras will be receiving the opening kickoff. They send their unit out. The deep man, number twenty. Is that number twenty? He's been told, yeah, number twenty. That yeah. would be uh, Kenny, Kenny Everett. Kenny Everett. And uh, looks like uh, six out there. That would be Cam Bell. I know they're going to get more men on the field. There's only five Vikings out there at the moment on the kickoff. I think they're allowed 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we want to make mention of those who are watching with us. Nate McMullen. MD Arif, Ryan Sandberg, Jaden Wright, glad to have you with us. Maurice Atwell is checking in. Chad Bogan, Teron Clark, Larry Early, Jazz Johnson, and Daryl Coelho, among those who are watching us on Facebook Live. Glad to have you with us. As you see the play on the field, you can feel free to make a couple comments here and there, and uh, we will definitely try to get those mentions out there as well. So we're just about set for the opening kickoff. The Vikings kicking off to the Cobras as we get set for week number two in the Northeast Atlantic Football League for these two squads. Kick is away. It's going to come down near the 20-yard line. Bounces past. Picked up at the 10, and he'll try to draw some blockers across the 10. He's Wow. Caught Got behind him. the 10. Number nine. Yeah. For the Vikings. The Vikings, number nine. We're just going to try to piece the numbers together as best we can. And naturally, I don't have a number nine that I see here. Right there, Isaiah. Uh, okay, Isaiah Siler with the Siler. tackle. Yeah, this is a first-year team, the Vikings, coming over to spring. They've been around quite a while in the summer leagues. So we're, we're weekly going to be getting to know this team. Uh, we, we really are blind going in to know, you know, a lot of the players and a lot of the talent they have. So it's, it's fun getting to know a new team. Now the tackle was made at the eight-yard line. So it's first and ten deep in their own situation here, deep in their territory. Not a very good field position to start with. Good special teams play by the Vikings setting up this situation. Yeah, it's a tough spot to be, you know, your, your own end zone in your back, especially with a wet, wet situation. You want to get that ball out of there as quick as possible. All right, so the first play of the game belonged to the Cobras. Magic Mears at the quarterback spot, flanked by... Cam Bell, number six. Two receivers split to the right side, one to the left. First and ten 
Cobras from their own eight yard line. Staying in that spread formation we seen last week, they were uh, favoring pretty much the whole game. Here's comes up over center. They'll hand off the bell. He gets Good across tackle. the 10 yard line to the, about the 11 yard line. Like 22 on the tackle. 22. Two. I saw the nine. I don't see a 22. No 20 for here. Jose Gonzalez. You've got better eyes than me. <laughs> hey, this is and I don't I, have my glasses. Is, that's why the numbers <laughs> should be more important than the alphabetical spelling of the names. You're absolutely right. What are you going to do? <laughs> Second and seven after the three-yard run by Cam Bell. Ball spotted at the Cobra 11-yard line. Same formation. Again, Bell bobbles. Ooh, bobble ball. He recovers timely. Ooh, 22 again. The fact that he even got four yards out of that is amazing because that bobble was hopping pretty good, almost out of his hands completely. But Bell gets up and gets a four-yard gain. Gonzalez again meeting him for the tackle. Yeah, it was 26 on that tackle. Oh, was 26. The, uh, yeah, 26 and 22. 26 came in there pretty good with a nice hit, and then 22 followed up. Now, Isaiah... Monoplazer is number 26 on the lead tackle. Ball is at the 15-yard line, so it'll be third down, third and three. It's a big third down. Something to get some rhythm going. That's what the Cobras would like to have here. And I think we, we might have had movement on the offensive line there. Let's see if they call it that way. Yeah, that's the call. Ooh, that's a tough one. Yeah, I saw the uh, right guard or tackle move. That's why the Viking player came across. They got really lucky today. I mean, when you get out this morning seeing all that rain coming down and uh, to clear up and give these guys an opportunity to play, you know, it's still a little wet. But uh, it's dry. So now this makes it a more difficult third down play. It's third and eight back at the 10-yard line. Heavy spread. Yep. Shotgun this time for Mears. Gets a straight drop. Looking to there throw it goes. across the middle. Has wow. man at the 22 or so. And that'll be enough for the first down. What a gutsy catch, call. Catch made by number 18 for the Cobras. That would be Tor Troy Smith. Gutsy call. Great play. Put it in a good spot where yeah. only Smith can get it. <laughs> Did he put it right on the money? And you like the fact that he threw it with authority so it got there quickly. Pickup of 12 on the <laughs> And a first down, more importantly. First and 10 from the 22-yard line. Bell on the sweep to the left side. Cuts it oh. back in across the 25. Nice gain and a good vision on his part to cut it back up the middle. 25 on the tackle there for the Vikings. They're utilizing the field right now. They're uh, <laughs> game plan, you know, moving the ball left, right, and, and going to the air. They're doing a good job with the play calling right now. Nice gain of eight yards, so it's second down and two from the 30-yard line, as you see the tackle made right there. Good field vision. <laughs> cut it back inside as he started to the outside and cut it back in. Yeah, that was a real nice cut. So very makeable second and two from the 30. Shotgun formation by Magic Mears. Again, hands off this time. I'll try the right side. Some running room there. And Cam Bell is putting on a bit of a show back-to-back -back plays. Big first down. 
Well, that third down conversion comes in mighty handy right now. Two running plays and another first down for the Cobras. Ball spotted at the 38-yard line. First and 10 for the Cobras. Edwin Cordova, glad to have you with us. He says, bounce back, Cobras. Of course, we all know Maurice Atwell, the owner of the team, still watching from his area. Yeah, he uh, hit me up. He's, you know that. He's got, you know, at this level, when the work calls and you got to go to work, you got to go to work. Yeah. <laughs> New set of downs for the Cobras at their own 38-yard line. Changing backs. Fake handoff. The throw is complete at the 45-yard line, spinning and reaching out with the football. That's number 11, uh, Tamar Jackson. 22 again on that tackle for the Vikings. He seems oh, well. to be you now having a great game. He's all over the field. Uh, he's doing a great job protecting that middle. He's made well, about two or three tackles so far. Yeah, Jose Gonzalez. Yeah, let's circle him so we can. <laughs> yeah, just keep, have yeah, to circle his number. You yeah. search for it. Yeah. It's going to be a household name after today if he keeps his pace up. Nine-yard pickup on the play. Second down and one. Cobras just about at midfield started this possession at their own eight-yard line. Here's hands off. Great There's hole. plenty of room to the outside. Across wow. the middle. Good cut back again. The running back, number 32, Javon James, got it done big in a run. nice way. They're very big. They seem a little more confident this week right now uh, against this tough Vikings defense. They're, they're moving the ball. The, the play seems like they're really smooth trajectory and doing a good job. 17-yard run for the first down. Ball is spotted at the seven yard line of the Vikings. They're putting, the, putting together their best drives in two weeks. First and 10 from the Viking 37 yard line for the Cobras. They stayed in this offense all last week, and you know we seen they were having a hard time, and they stayed in it. They they fought and stayed and fought and stayed, and now you see them coming out here and same offense, and they're sticking with it, and you know they're moving the ball. They're they're comfortable in that formation. And uh, sometimes it just takes a little while to get it clicking. So here we are, first and ten from the 37 yard line. Opening possession of the game, the Cobras. Looking good so far, picking up some key first downs. Mears, hands off, cutting back into the Great middle. Great defense. Good defense, that one. 24 and number six. 24, okay, let's yeah, see. 24 and six. Six is Justice Brister. 24 is Marcus Allen. To minus. Yeah, great, great defense on that. Way to, way to, way to uh, read that and react and uh, make a great tackle. No, no game. No yeah, great right at the line of scrimmage. You can't ask for any better than that. You know, coach went out there just before that play too. We need a little talk with the guys, Coach Lowe. And uh, he put together a nice team for spring. Well, I'll tell you what, he sensed that the running game was working too efficiently. So <laughs> yeah. he wanted to make a little statement there and he yeah, made it that yeah. play. Whatever he said, it worked. Second and 10 for the Cobras. Bell is back in the backfield. He gets the carry right up the middle. Wow, 30 yard hole. line. And he's tucked down at about the 27. That's a big hole. Well, you don't have to give Cam Bell too much room. He runs right there. And I think he's got enough for a first down. Followed his uh, guard. Guard, <laughs> yeah, great block. Actually, that was a center, Anthony Morrow. We're going to call it a yard short. It looks like it's at the 27. We'll give him nine yards. Or are they changing their minds? Because now I see the first down mark. Might have got it, yeah. Looks like they gave it to him. Right, we'll go with that. First and 10 from the 27 yard line. 
Crumbling Cobra is on the march. Timeout is taken by the Vikings. But a pretty good uh, possession so far for the Cobras. Oh, the, you know, it's a great drive. They started with their back against the end zone and, you know, clock management, clock and, you know, taking that time off the clock and stretching the field like they're doing. They're doing a great job of play calling right now. It's a different Cobras offense than we've seen last week, and that's why you never judge a team by that opening week effort. And uh, they're moving really well. Taking a look again at our Facebook Live, we have a whole bunch of people that are tuning in, and we thank each and every one of you. See if we can get the uh, newer list. Uh, Russell Johnson uh, mentioning that both teams need a W. Elder Leon Wright Colonel is calling us or actually watching us from Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Jonathan Taney enjoying the new uniforms for the Cobras. Hobie Young is with us. Jonathan coach Hobie. Taney. Yeah, there you go. Coach Hobie down in Upper Township had a team in here for many years. Great coach. He was my first coach in summer pro football. Well, you've had your own history with this stuff, haven't yeah. you? <laughs> yeah, Coach Hobie. Grady's, Grady's catching this game. First down and 10 from the 27-yard line. The fake, fake, and this one is airing out, Ooh. almost intercepted. Good coverage <laughs> on the play. Yeah, the defender had his hands up. It looked like number 10 for the Vikings. I'm pretty sure it was number 10. I saw 18. 18, it is 18. Okay, there that would be DeAndre Carter. Uh, Great Dre. Play. He likes Dre. Dre, so we so got we'll Dre. we'll take a look at the coverage here. The fake to Bell. And Mears put it up, trying to hit that corner spot there. It was, it was there. The ball was great placement. Jackson was the intended receiver. He goes incomplete, so it's second down and 10. Ball spotted at the 27-yard line of the Vikings. Again, we can't tell you the time-wise thing because there's no running clock. It's on the field being kept. Bell with the handoff. Oh, he breaks the there. tackle. And he's down inside the 20, it appears. That's just power running by Cam Bell. Yeah, he's doing a great job today. He's uh, a couple big runs. See where they put this officially. They're going to mark him at the 20-yard line. So that'll be a seven-yard run. Third down and three. Talk, trying to talk, strike talk about you. controlling the time on the first quarter on a drive. Yes. I mean, that's, you know, you don't see that often. I mean, they're, they're utilizing this offense, and that clock is ticking. Key third down, though. They need three yards. Double wide receiver set this time by the Cobras. Here's awaiting the snap. Hands off to Bell. He slipped a little bit. I think he's going to be a yard short. Just had that little stumble getting uh, started there, and it might have cost him the first down. Let's we'll oh, see where the officials might have spotted. a flag on this. I'm not sure they're. No, maybe not. Yeah, they are. I think there's a flag. We might have missed it. But he's yep, picking up his flag. There is a flag. Yeah, he picked one up, so yeah. We're going to march it back against the Cobras. And this looks like it's going to be a 10-yard holding penalty. Yep, all that work and then uh, the penalties will get you every time. That's a key penalty. Yeah, now it's, it's third down. 13. 13. About 13, yeah. This is normally a passing situation. Two wide receivers to both sides of the line of scrimmage for the Cobras. Magic Mears gets the snap. Straight drop back across Ooh, the middle. Deflected. Ball is tipped. We have 50. a flag. I think we got number 57 on the deflection there for the Vikings. Another hold against the Cobras.
Yeah, you can see the one. <laughs> ref, like, who, me? <laughs> hey, I always coach. If there ain't no flag, there ain't no flag that he didn't hold. There's no penalty, but when you get caught, you're caught. Nice play to knock the ball down. Now, it's an incomplete pass. It'll bring up fourth down, but... Vikings hanging on. They had a great drive marching downfield, and, you know, two big breaks for the Vikings right now to put them in that fourth down, and this is this is a huge play right here. Yeah, the penalty is declined, as you would think. Fourth and 13. Cobras had this drive marching, but a couple of key plays, uh, an almost interception, a couple of penalties. That trips left. This is going to be nice. Let's see what they're going to come out with here. Mears looking that way. He runs to his right. He's, he's keeping it. He's going to keep Ooh, it, but he's they got going to him. tackled at the 25, which is far short of the first down. Looks like 58 on the tackle for the Vikings. That would be Malik event. Yeah, he hauled him down. And Magic tried to break to the outside. He, he got him. So we're going to see this Vikings offense. See what Coach Lowe's got for us today. Ball is spotted at the 20, 25 yard line. Vikings initial possession. So the defense came up after the Cobras made a nice dash from the eight yard line. Got it uh, halfway to the end zone from the midfield stripe, but that's about it. Good defensive play was turned in. Looks like Probably Coach Case out there uh, calling this offense for the Vikings today. Two running backs. I think it's number uh, six at quarterback, I think. That would be Justice Or it's 11, six or 11. Yeah, let's see who gets a snap. <laughs> yeah. 11 got the draw. snap, yep. Cutting it at the middle and across the 25. Not much more after that. So we got number 11 at quarterback for the uh, Central Jersey Vikings right now. Khalil Sly, senior, number two on the carry. He picks up three. Second down and seven from the 28-yard line for the Vikings. Their first possession of the game. It's a two-yard game. Staying in a similar offense here, but uh, the split back instead of the single back. So this is interesting. Tamal Coles at the quarterback spot awaits the shotgun snap. Good snap. Looks to his left. Ooh, letting it go. And he overthrows his intended receiver. Tamar Jackson gets a hand on it. Boy, it's so hard to throw against your body like that. Ra yeah. Raquan Gibson. We saw that last week. <laughs> intended receiver, yeah. We talked about it last week with uh, Stephen Chestnut rolling out to his left and making them hard passes to his right. Yeah, you watch, he'll roll to his left. Yeah, it's, and it's across it's his tough. body. That's it's not tough. easy to do. Yeah. And he overthrew the ball. Cobra defender there was Tamar Jackson. Third down coming up, third and eight. Again, the shotgun formation. Coles awaits the snap. Looks like the uh, Cobras might be thinking about blitzing, but now they back up. Coles again looking. He's looking to his left. Rolls in that direction. Oh, he gets, gets away. away. For a moment, he might have <laughs> enough for the he's, first down. He got it, I think. He's going to be close. He, yeah, he got Let's see where that spot is. He got his head out of reach. He cut the corner, went out of bounds. I think he, he might have got it. The chains are moving, and we have reached the end of the first quarter with that play. As you see, quarterback Coles there. Finding that lane to the left side, stretching the ball out to make sure. So, Tamal Coles with the key run and the end of the first quarter. 
Neither team on the scoreboard yet. It's yeah. nothing, nothing. We'll be back in a moment. We're all looking for God. All the signs point to, there is really a God. We try to find him in all kinds of ways. In all kinds of places. And, through all kinds of things. But there's only one way to find him. That's by personal experience with him. Come visit us this Sunday. We can introduce you to him. New Life Church, Millville, New Jersey. Many Quinn Broadcasting, in association with the Northeast Atlantic Football League, presents Cobra Football. Let's join the action as the Cobras take on their rival. Here's your commentators for today's exciting game. So the Vikings have a new set of downs starting this second quarter. Nothing, nothing is our score. First possession of the game for Central Jersey. And just like that, it looks like the Cobras have called the time. Not sure what the coaching staff saw there. Just to try to get the players in, so they call the time out for that. Number 45 checking in, that's uh, Targa Anderson. Very cold and windy day here, but it's better than it was earlier today. Plenty of rain throughout the area. No rain right now. Yeah, these guys are getting really lucky. I guess Mother Nature knew that we had a 4.30 game time. <laughs> Funny how she knows these things. Yeah, the guys were all asking last night, like, what do you think? What do you think? I was like, I don't, I don't trust Mother Nature because every time they tell us it rains, it doesn't. Or every time they tell us it's not going to rain, it does. So it's unpredictable. From the 37-yard line, the Vikings, a new set of downs. They send two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Now a man comes in motion to create double wide receiver set, comes back in motion to where he was. Low Almost snap, there. good job of handling it and getting maybe to the 37-yard line, but not much more. Edgar Nest on the tackle there. 69 with a great block on that old line. He, just, he was having his guy all the way down in the secondary. And we'll put it at the 37-yard line. So no gain on the play, as it turns out. Second and 10 for the Vikings. Cabal Coles at the quarterback spot. Running back is Khalil Sly. Second and 10. Shotgun set up for the Vikings. Again, a double wide receiver set. Two receivers to both sides of the line of scrimmage. Coles awaits the shotgun snap. It's a good one this time. Just a little screen set up. Move, nobody and there. The, nobody. Uh, Cobras are all over it. Wow, big defensive play. Whole bunch of players there, and I think is that Campbell who that, makes the That looks like tackle. Campbell. Pass was caught by the running back Sly. It looked like a good play early. As you see, nobody in the area there. Yeah, he didn't have anyone for that screen. He There's was a little cobra, bit out there. One two Cobras. Yeah, he's trying to get away, and then uh, <laughs> Campbell finally takes him down. He just squared him up very nicely for that tackle. Didn't let him go outside or inside. It's a huge third now, third and 20. <laughs> yep, lost 10 yards on that screen pass. I mean, it was there. They just didn't have his blockers out in front of him. Um, good call, though, but just, you know, just lacked the blockers on that. So third and 20 for the Vikings back at their own 27 yard line. As a defense, I think you like these kind of plays. Third and 20, good chance yeah. for the Cobras to stop this. You know, you're 80% thinking it's gonna be the pass. So, you, you know, you, you said the guy's going back a little deep and. And in motion is Sly. 30 in his face. Yep. Quarterback gets away, airs it out deep. Just basically a hope of the prayers, but that was, and it was well covered. Number 11 knocking it down, that's Jackson. 
Lamar Jackson with a good coverage. Sometimes you just play center field and you can make a play like that. Yeah, you know what? I mean, if you intercepted it or not, I mean, it's a fourth down. And, you know, you rely on a, you know, you're back against the end zone with a wet ball now. Bad snap, not a bad punt, you know, not a great punt. So anything can happen in a situation like that. I know he's probably going to go do push-ups and kick himself for missing an interception, but it might be for the better. Yeah, Trayvon Blakey was the receiver. But well covered by Jackson. Fourth down coming up, punting situation. Cam Bell back at it near his 30-yard line awaiting the punt. Vikings counting their players to make sure they've got 11 out there. And I guess they only had 10. Here he comes. And here comes the 11. Cobra should wind up with some decent field position here. Let's we'll see how it all goes on the return. Good snap. He gets it off. Right, we're going to let it bounce. Bell will take it on the bounce at the 35. We have a flag, and no, that's that's where he spotted. That's not a flag. My bad. Just about a 10-yard return. So, again, good field position compared to the first time the Cobras had the football. Yeah, but I think uh, both teams right now are looking for that first touchdown. You know, um, you know it's very similar. They uh, both... Uh, came up uh, short last week 26 nothing and uh, I never seen a score week it was last week it was uh, 26 to nothing six to two 26 to nothing it was the two and Weird six course. week yeah I've never seen it before it was, it was awesome first and ten Cobras at their own 45 yard line we're in the second quarter of this game See what the Cobras can do on this possession. Their running game was pretty effective in that first series. Mears in the shotgun formation. Handoff across the 45. Good wow. speed. And that's going to be enough for a first down. Big game. Good job of running the football. Javon James. Those holes with that kind of speed, you're going to get some good yards. Watch him just take off right there. Looks like number five on the tackle there. Actually, the initial hit was six. Five cleaned up, but uh, number six made the uh, tackle. On just this wrist. Number five is Tamir Altman. He goes by Ty Brim, I understand. So I'm trying to remember he's Ty Brim. Yeah, we got two nice runs by 32 for this Cobra's offense. I mean, he's he's got so he stays low and he runs hard. 14 yard pickup. Yeah, I think it was a 17 yards earlier. Yeah, yep, 17, 17 yards. Yeah, 17. He was stopped at the line of scrimmage one other time, but yeah, runs of 17 and 14. That's great. That'll get you to move those chains. From the Viking 41 yard line, first and 10 Cobras. Trips to the right side this time for Cumberland. And off. Again, again, breaking free across the 35-yard line. James is making things happen on the running side. Javon James picks up. It looks like it's going to be seven. The official stepping on the 34-yard line. That would be a seven-yard run. Oh, yep. So it'll be second down and three. When you get those first down runs like that, John, and you're going to make second down a lot simpler to make. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're really doing a great job in the offensive line today, um, opening these holes. The only thing they haven't done is found the end zone. You know, in that first drive, they were short. So, you know, they got to capitalize on it. Once you start finding out and figuring out how to get in that end zone, they'll just start flowing for both of these teams. Quarterback Mears is flanked by two running backs. Second and three. Hand off, cutting back. I think that's number eight. No, I think it's six. Uh, five. These numbers are sometimes not easy to read. I think that's number five. I don't have a five, sorry. 
<laughs> they get the fancy uniforms yeah. and the fancy colors and all the. Yeah, that looks it's like a, a five, right? It does look like a five. It might be an eight. If it's an eight, I have <laughs> Edgar Nest. We'll just make it the That's eight. That's definitely not Edgar Nest. <laughs> okay, well, then it's five, and we don't know who it is. Yeah. Uh, actually, we Five do. or nine? Five, yes. David <laughs> Mosley. We have David Mosley. There we go. We'll make it happen as we go through the contest. No gain, so it's third down and three. Mears is... Going to throw it, and it's intercepted. Ooh, wow, Very 44. Very interception. Wow, that was a great interception by number 44. Uh-oh, they're talking to the ref. That's something here. What's going on? That was just a great pick right here. Although, I don't know. I thought Mears would just run to get the first down, but that's just a great play right there. Yeah, he put some zip on that ball, too, and... Uh, 44 just stepped up and got in front of the receiver, and, you know, he got a nice in. So the Viking defense answers. Twice. Stopped him on a, on a great, great uh, momentum. All right, so change of possession. The turnovers did uh, help the Cobras last week. No. I think it was, what, six? About six last week? Five, maybe? I don't know if it was five, but it was two, three big ones, the two fumbles and the interception. Yeah, the first fumble resulted in that first touchdown. Mm -hmm. And it, then uh, and then this, the other fumble resulted in the 50, the big man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the big man. Murray? Was it Murray? Or, I think it was Murray or something like that this week. Yeah, he had a big, it was like 50-yard uh, run. And he danced into the end zone. The CR Moore was yeah, Moore. 51, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, he, he got there, and I loved his backward spike. <laughs> yeah. That was a little stylistic. That throw is going to be way incomplete. It's good pressure applied on the quarterback. That looked like number 30, so that would be uh, a Gual Hubbard who really put some pressure on. Pass goes incomplete. Second and 10 coming up for the Vikings. Ball is at the Viking 22-yard line. They send two receivers to the right, one to the left. Number 11 and uh, getting a shotgun there still. Coles awaits the snap from center. A blitz coming, and that is going to hamper the running attempt. Very much. Seems like there was a little miscommunication on that. Um, no, very fast. Something, uh, there was something that went on there. Kyle Mayer on the carry. He has dropped at the 20-yard line. Had nowhere to go. Number 48. So a loss of a couple. We had a little defensive battle today again. You know, this first half. And it could result, you know, somebody gets that first score and, you know, has that little good pep talk the second half, you know, could take off. What happened last week. That's, that's exactly what happened. You know, 0-0 zero, zero half on. They put the, put the Jets on. So the Cobra defense in a good spot here facing third and 12. They just need to prevent a big play. Tamal Coles awaits the snap. Again, looks like the Cobras, and now they back off. They always look like they're going to send some extra men. There's a pitch. They pitch it to the right side, and great coverage by the Cobra defense. I think there were at least three players over there. Cam to Bell. Tackle. Cam Bell was the uh, <laughs> Let's take a look at it as they try to pitch to the right. And right there. He made the hit, but there were a couple others 30. in pursuit. Yeah, 30. 30 was in pursuit for the Cobras. That would be Igual Hubbard. So good coverage by the Cobras. And that play goes back to the 17-yard line. Big fourth down now. Again. 
again when you're snapping into your end zone. Long snapper, that's very frustrating him with a wet ball. One little wrong move and that ball's at the end zone over his head on the ground. Not bad, good. good Got good it snap. back there. A little ugly on the punt, but. Bounces near the 40 yard line. Good bounce, good roll. Yep. There you go. Yep. They're going to get most of the yardage on this play on the roll. Yeah. But again, I'll take it. Good setup for the Cobras here. Near midfield, they're going to spot it, I believe, at the 46 yard line, first and 10 for Cumberland. Again, we don't know how much time is left. Time is kept on the field. They actually placed the ball at the 47 for the Cobras. All right, we want to make mention of some of the uh, people watching. Unk Mish Slime, there you go. <laughs> Juan Bolig, always a pleasure to have him. He's very much involved in football in the Millville area. Millville football, yeah. Yep. Coach Quan. Okay. It's nice for the interaction. First and 10 Cobras from their own 47 yard line looking to get the first score of the game. We are 0 0. See what Magic Mears can pull out. He's got a double wide receiver set. Now a little draw. draw play up the middle. A little play action there and yeah. draw. <laughs> Trying to sneak something yeah. through the middle. And yeah. I'm guessing that's Cam. It Most worked too in a guy in his face. <laughs> yeah, that's David Mosley on the run. We're going to spot it at the 49 yard line, so a four yard run there. Second down and six. On the Viking side of the field. Now, I wonder the officials let the players know how much time is left, right? Because they're not exactly rushing. The whole yeah, they uh, once they start getting around the two-minute mark, okay. they'll uh, start telling them. Two receivers to both sides of the line of scrimmage. Mears calls out the signals. Quick throw is a little heads. bit too high. Goes incomplete. Looking for Troy Smith there. So it'll be third down. They need to get just about to the 43 yard line. So it's a six yard to pick up that they need, if not more, of course. Want to make mention of others who are watching. Steve Lewallen. Tight end for the Cobras. And we have Kyle Staten. Jess and Anna Bova are watching. Jesse Stewart, Russell Johnson, and Jamal Hogue. I hope I'm saying the names near correct. It sounds good. Did a good job. <laughs> Mears back to throw. He's got a man open in the middle, and he just overthrew him. He had that 44. was Troy Smith again. He had 44 out there lurking. <laughs> He was like, on my way again. He's going to try to come down with another interception. But you'll see he put in a much better spot. He just overthrew it because the only guy that was going to catch it was 18. And he just couldn't get there. Smith was the intended receiver. Again, we're going to want to say hello to Cutis, Howell, Kalen Casper. We mentioned Jamal Hope. Christian Cal Calderon and Darrell Samuel, all watching us on Facebook Live. You can follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Quinn Broadcasting. And of course, follow us as well on uh, Instagram, QBC TV. Big fourth down. From the 49-yard line, 
Again, they need to get to the 43 to keep the drive He's going. Got that trips left going on over there. You might see a cross coming. Or there's Mears the cross. Fakes it. He wants a block. He gets that block, and he, I think he crossed in front of the 43, yeah. which would be enough. Yep, knew where to go and went right to it and got out of bounds before the hit. You know, protect that body. Did he call for a block and he got the block? You watch it here. <laughs> Communication. He, yep, runs to his right, fakes the throw, keeps the ball here, and then just directs some traffic. Got the good block there against 44. That, <laughs> yeah, he called the general. <laughs> yeah. Go blink that block. So that run gives the Cobras a new set of downs at the 43-yard line of the Vikings. First and 10, trips to the right, uh, left side this time. Mears back looking in that direction. Has a man Ooh. there, and it's off the fingertips. 18. Yeah, Smith was the intended receiver. Ball falls incomplete. Second and 10. Yeah, that high one over here on the sideline, you know, a little while ago, went through his hands, too. He had to reach for that. That one looked like he's going to come down with one stride, though. Yeah. Shame they didn't catch that. Second and 10 from the 43. <laughs> Cobra's third possession. They're gonna make it a good one heading into the locker room with a possible lead. Again, they send trips to the left side. Nice snap, handoff. And it's stacked defense up. Defense closed it down pretty 42. good. Yeah, great defense. That is Javon James on the carry. He, I mean, he hit the hole pretty hard, but they uh, closed it down quick. Okay, the Cobras do take timeouts, so we must be closing in on the end of the second quarter. Two-yard gain by James. The ball was at the 42-yard line. So you have a third down and eight. Time is of the essence. You would have to think a pass play here. You, you know, he's, they're right there. You know, they're right there. Uh, they got to score. Somebody's got to score. You know, somebody's got to score. Uh, you can't always look for the big play. You know, they came out that first two series a lot more running. You know, they're moving more to passing right now. Um, they need to, you know, move the ball around a little bit more instead of looking for the big play or, you know, just trying to launch one down there. We've shown a good uh, combination of running backs with Bell and James. Yeah. Of course, that was a uh, famous group back in the late 70s. What was living, it called? Living it up Saturday night was the, the hit song. <laughs> Bell and James. Something Bell about, and James. See, my DJ side always has an album. You notice that? I know music, but I never heard of that. Bell and James, living it up Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, when I get home, I'm going to put it on Google and yeah, check it out. check it out. Bell it's a great James. song. Living it up Friday night. I bet you, if you play it, you'll run. I'll, yeah, that's you'll exactly. I was like, oh, I know who this is. All right, so key play here, third down. Third down and eight from the 42 yard line. Let's see what the Cobras can do here. Again, they send three receivers to the left side. Let's see if Mears looks in that direction. He's over center this time. Makes the handoff. He rolls to his right. His receivers are wow. splitting out. He's got a man. Ooh, a little oh, short. That looked closer than it was wound yeah. up being. It, it was going right for the receiver to Mark Jackson. It just yeah. dropped. Could be the weight of the ball. I don't know, but yeah. it was sailing and just. <laughs> well, it looked good yeah. from here. It sang. Maybe the wind knocked it down. It is a nice wind out yeah, there. Yeah, there is. Here it goes. You see there. It's a little, little bit of a duck. <laughs> it's got a little quacking going on it's that a ball. A little wobbler, but it falls incomplete. That's the key part of the whole play. Well, if he had put that on the money, that was a touchdown. Yeah, I mean that ball could be, you know, with the, you know, added, a, you know, a couple pounds <laughs> when it gets wet. So, you know, I'm not a quarterback. Well, it's fourth down, so they're going to go for it here, being that they're in Viking territory. Yeah. 
They need to get to the. Well, I can't tell. They, I don't think they're really putting the chains down effectively. Like it. <laughs> Should be third, fourth, and eight, but it looks yeah, like staying in that trip's left. Ten. Mears oh, gets the snap, looks to his right now, looks back to the middle, and he low. underthrows it. Yep. Turnover on downs. So again, the Cobras just can't take advantage of field position. And the Vikings will take over on downs. Again, we're late in the second quarter. No score in the game. Very similar to last week. And depending upon how much time the Vikings have, see if their offense can get something before halftime. Yeah, they would love to put one in the end zone right before the half. You know, uh, we don't really have a time right now, but uh, I'm gonna say about three minutes, maybe. I didn't see the two-minute warning mark. You know, but it's getting down there. First and ten, Vikings from their own 42-yard line. Tamal Coles at the quarterback spot. Cobras elect to call a timeout after seeing the alignment. I was talking to some of the Viking players before the game, and I said, it's kind of a tough day to play football. I said, no, no, this is good. <laughs> we like playing like the Daniels kind of stuff. Spring is tough. I think you got a lot of tough football players in the spring. You know, in, in years past, we've had the first two weeks in snowstorms. Oh, wow. You, you can't predict. Um, we used to start in the last week of February, we, and we started pushing wow. it through the years. First week of March, second week of March, yeah. third week in between second and third to get away from some of them snowstorms. So first and ten for the Vikings, their own 42-yard line. Jamal Coles awaits the snap, gets it to bounce, oh, but he picks it up wait, nicely, yeah, and he's oh, going to be bad. sacked immediately. That, that whole Shadi snap. Cheese, bro. It looks like on the bottom, number four. Yep, that's, yeah, that's exactly him. who it was. Yeah. Yeah, he got the ball up good. I mean, the ball was a little low, and uh, he did a good job recovering it, but the defense was back there quick. Yeah, Coles didn't have too much of a chance to really get anything going. See how low he had to go to get that. Yeah, Cheese, bro, got around, got around the edge really quick. And the Cobra defense has put some pressure on the quarterback. We mentioned uh, Hubbard also has been in on the quarterback a couple times. I think while Hubbard's pressured Coles quite a bit. Loss of seven. Second and 17. Them a much better snap. Rolling gets his right quick throw. Oh, got his guy. 17. Nice catch. Hey, it's very close. Nope. Looks like they might spot it a little short. Yeah, he's got tackled with the 41 yard line. There you go. Way to move the ball. Let's go now. That was da Darrell Brown on the catch. Quarterback, you don't have to nice enough. There he goes and gets his man. Looked like Kenny Ace Everett on that uh, tackle there, too. Third down and 11, man. Now he comes back to where he was. Again, good pressure by Cheesebroth. Ball is thrown out of bounds. Intended receiver was Trayvon Blake, Blake, Blakey. See, I want to say Blakely, but I'm trying not to. <laughs> Blakey. <laughs> Pass is incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. A little of a dog fight here, you know. Teams evenly matched up today, you know, to looking for that first win. Defensive game right now, stopping each other. So you're looking for that first score, you know. You, you, you want to get that end zone first in a situation like this. So it's going to happen. Someone's going to score. Right, it's 
It's fourth and 11. It looks like the Vikings are going to punt the football. Bell back deep. Tamar Jackson, the short man, in case it's a short kick. Justice Brister with the punt. Detail for the Vikings. And uh -oh. now we have a flag. A little bit of movement. That's it. Five yard penalty. So that'll put the ball back at the Viking 36. Special teams, they've had trouble getting the right amount of men in. The Vikings, and of course, that one, a procedure penalty. The Cobra's coming, Ooh. and... Oh, wow. Might have got a finger on yeah, them. Maybe and, someone got a fingertip on there. Yeah, but they're going to call a flag, uh, at least the running kicker. into the, the kicker. Yeah. Let's, Let's see the what official. they call, yeah. As we watch, they came for the ball. Yeah, it was like three or four guys. The referee about to give us the call here. I guess they say, was he pushed into him? We're going to do it again, it looks like. I don't know why. Is running into the kicker just a five-yard penalty? Is that what it is? No, it should be uh, first, to my knowledge. Well, we'll let the official let us know by where he places the ball. <laughs> yeah, they only give him a five-yard penalty, so. That is five yards. He just ran into the kicker. It'll still be a fourth down. Fourth and 11 instead, so that five yards on the procedure penalty. The false start is regained on the running into the kicker. Let's see if we can get the third time being the charm here on the punt. It's supposed to be a loss of 15. Oh. And this time it is blocked. Wow. And the kicker is, oh, the ball still pops loose. And it goes all the way back to the 15. Shadid Cheeseborough with the block, and then you see the kicker picked it up. Ball came loose there again. Boy, this is a big break for the Cobras. Is they're going to mark it probably at the 15-yard line, or? These officials always, they're going to call offside against the Cobras. <laughs> We're going to get another point. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Uh, yeah. Somebody's not happy on the field. Yeah, they're going to bring the ball back. They'll spot it at the 46-yard line. Now they got to remember where the original line of scrimmage was. Well, I don't think they do replays in this league, right? <laughs> Well, we're having difficulty getting a punt registered here. Let's take a look here. What we're we looking have? at it ourselves. I don't see it now. That's that. That, that, that. I don't see any offside is what I'm saying. I think they timed the uh, snap very well. Looking at what we see, see there. The Cobras were up at the line of scrimmage, but I don't think they did. <laughs> However, the officials say they did. Now we're going to have 
to figure out where the ball belongs and whether or not it's a first down. It looks like they are going to give it a first down. This is a wacky finish to the second quarter, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's All a... sorts of things happen on a punt. Yeah, it's a... Uh... If we could only hear what's going on. <laughs> it's Ivan Jones out there. He's explaining it. Well, when all the smoke clears, the Viking offense will still be on the field. The ball Boy, they got lucky, huh? They got lucky on that. Ball between the <laughs> procedures, the offside, the block punt that was. <laughs> we've had a lot in just those three plays. It's all over. It's all over the place. Here we go. Actually, it still is fourth down, and it's fourth and five. And they're going to go for it on fourth down, fourth and five. Based on the way things are going, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Cole's in the shotgun. Two receivers to both sides of the line of scrimmage. And <laughs> number eight looked Cheese like he was, again. He was over the road. line of scrimmage. They fall. Did he catch it? Really close. It looked like there was a slight bounce on that, but it was hard to tell. He went really low. And I just observed the play to the left side. It looked like the receiver was beyond the line of scrimmage. I don't know if you can see it there, but here's the play itself. Let's see. Yeah, hit the ground. Okay. Looked like it bounced right off the five into his arms. So they exchanged the... Uh, the ball here, the Cobras will have their offense on the field. And I still don't know how much time is left. It think, seems like we should be at halftime. <laughs> we should be right about there. Yeah. So the Cobras will get a crack at it from the Viking 46-yard line. It has been a very intriguing last couple of minutes here <laughs> not so much game clock wise yeah. but just in real time lots of things going on should be the last attempt here on this drive we got to be pretty much uh, like you said done this first half again not knowing how much time is left they might just take a shot down deep Magic Mears at the quarterback spot, flanked by two running backs. Straight drop back. He looks to air it out. Wow, great ball. He floats it up, and it's going to be 44 again. There he is again. And he's got he's some got... running room. Oh, oh the oh, ball is I... loose. Tamar oh, Jackson. Jackson oh, picks it up. Out of Did you see that? The Cobra score. Wow. Why not a wacky finish the way things are going? you got to be kidding me. Did you just see that? Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Oh. Wow. Well, they got the big time finish. That's just not the way he expected it. Oh, my goodness. 44 comes up with a second interception. Great ball by Mears. 44 reads it again. Comes up with it. I mean, this kid's got wheels, too. He's taking off, and who makes this hit? Not that, That's man. what we don't know. I didn't catch that. Boom. Oh. 19. 19. 19. Let's see. 19 would be Rolando Henry Jr. Oh. And Jackson picked it up in midair and just took it into the zone for the touchdown. I mean, wow. How's that for a finish? <laughs> that's, that's how you end the first half. That was huge. Oh. I mean, either team at this point needed a little help, I mean, but that was help. It was big help. Yeah, that's definitely a highlight reel uh, play right there. So they go for the two-point conversion, looking to make it eight to nothing. Cobra's first touchdown of the season comes in very dramatic style. <laughs> that, that's very dramatic. <laughs> I mean, that was what, 50 yards? It was a 50-yard play. A it turned out to be that way. Yeah, like around a 50-yard. <laughs> now we got some movement, and this will be against the Cobras. 
false start. Do you notice the last two weeks uh, got another touchdown here? We had four last week. This week, no, no extra point kick. <laughs> yeah, no kicks. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, that, you know, these guys love their two point conversions. The 15. Yeah, we, we 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 never adopted the NFL rule for years until this year. I did away with it because the referees would get confused. You'd have an argument down there. They put it to 15. The owners are, are down there like, no, we kick from the two. And the reason we did it is we never had a lot of kickers. So, you know, I did away with it this year, and, uh, you know, NFL rule put it back to the 15. So following the penalty, Mears is back looking, and that's going to fall incomplete, although – I thought the receiver's progress in the ball was impeded there. No flag. That's the half. There it is. Wait a wait in the half. Oh my. They, they got one play. And that was it. The rookie Duke. <sighs> Let's take a look at this interception again. I guess you could call it a forty six yard touchdown. Oh, there, yeah, in a weird way. Yeah, in a weird way. But I don't know if they count it that much after an interception. That's my my difficulty. Well, maybe they do. I'm no uh Expert on how scoring is kept, but here's Ball's the... has got air. Yep. It's got everything you want. <laughs> it's intercepted back at about the 12 or 13. Then it's going to be jarred loose as he gets away from one man there. There it is. And the balls pop up in the air. Oh, way to stay with that ball, Tamar Jackson. Fingertipped it back to himself and brings it in. <laughs> and the wave goodbye to the end zone by Jackson. You just don't see that kind of play often, but a great play by Rolando Henry Jr. After the interception, he knocked the ball out of the uh, interceptor's hands. Yeah. And Jackson was Johnny on the spot to make the pick the other way and take it into the end zone. So a very dramatic finish to the first half here at Jim Hersey Stadium. It is six to nothing, Cobras over the Vikings. We're going to pause here and be right back in just a moment. I'm Bart Feldman and this is TNF Camera. We are a full line photographic studio and camera store. We invite you to come in and take a look at the products and services that we provide from youth sports, high school sports, school pictures, and a wealth of photographic equipment. The advantages of coming to a store is you have the ability to talk to people and see exactly what you want to purchase beforehand. It's TNF Camera, 1362 South Delsey Drive here in Vineland. We're all looking for God. All the signs point to, there is really a God. We try to find him in all kinds of ways, in all kinds of places, and through all kinds of things. But there's only one way to find him. That's by personal experience with him. Come visit us this Sunday. We can introduce you to him. New Life Church, Millville, New Jersey. Many people treat their health like a game. With the Complete Care Health Network, it's easy to start your healthcare journey. Our mental health services focus on the emotions and behaviors that affect your overall well-being and features psychiatric, counseling, and addiction services, including our exclusive Fresh Start program designed to help combat the opioid epidemic in our communities, plus all the other specialties you expect from Complete Care. Level up your health with us. The Complete Care Health Network. No games, just great health care for everyone. I'm Bart Feldman, and this is TNF Camera. We are a full line photographic studio and camera store. We invite you to come in and take a look at the products and services that we provide from youth sports, high school sports, school pictures, and a wealth of photographic equipment. The advantages of coming to a store is you have the ability to talk to people and see exactly what you want to purchase beforehand. It's TNF Camera, 1362 South Delsey Drive here in Vineland. We're all looking for God. All the signs point to, there is really a God. We try to find him in all kinds of ways, in all kinds of places, and through all kinds of things. But there's only one way to find him. That's by personal experience with him. Come visit us this Sunday. We can introduce you to him. New Life Church, Millville, New Jersey. 
Many people treat their health like a game. With the Complete Care Health Network, it's easy to start your healthcare journey. Our mental health services focus on the emotions and behaviors that affect your overall well-being and features psychiatric, counseling, and addiction services, including our exclusive Fresh Start program designed to help combat the opioid epidemic in our communities, plus all the other specialties you expect from Complete Care. Level up your health with us. The Complete Care Health Network. No games, just great health care for everyone. I'm Bart Feldman, and this is TNF Camera. We are a full-line photographic studio and camera store. We invite you to come in and take a look at the products and services that we provide, from youth sports, high school sports, school pictures, and a wealth of photographic equipment. The advantages of coming to a store is you have the ability to talk to people and see exactly what you want to purchase beforehand. It's TNF Camera, 1362 South Delsey Drive here in Vineland. We're all looking for God. All the signs point to, there is really a God. We try to find him in all kinds of ways, in all kinds of places, and through all kinds of things. But there's only one way to find him. That's by personal experience with him. Come visit us this Sunday. We can introduce you to him. New Life Church, Millville, New Jersey. Many people treat their health like a game. With the Complete Care Health Network, it's easy to start your healthcare journey. Our mental health services focus on the emotions and behaviors that affect your overall well being and features psychiatric, counseling, and addiction services, including our exclusive Fresh Start program designed to help combat the opioid epidemic in our communities, plus all the other specialties you expect from Complete Care. Level up your health with us. The Complete Care Health Network. No games, just great health care for everyone. I'm Bart Feldman and this is TNF Camera. We are a full-line photographic studio and camera store. We invite you to come in and take a look at the products and services that we provide from youth sports, high school sports, school pictures, and a wealth of photographic equipment. The advantages of coming to a store is you have the ability to talk to people and see exactly what you want to purchase beforehand. It's TNF Camera, 1362 South Delsey Drive here in Vineland. We're all looking for God. All the signs point to, there is really a God. We try to find him in all kinds of ways, in all kinds of places, and through all kinds of things. But there's only one way to find him. That's by personal experience with him. Come visit us this Sunday. We can introduce you to him. New Life Church, Millville, New Jersey. Many people treat their health like a game. With the Complete Care Health Network, it's easy to start your healthcare journey. Our mental health services focus on the emotions and behaviors that affect your overall well-being and features psychiatric, counseling, and addiction services, including our exclusive Fresh Start program designed to help combat the opioid epidemic in our communities, plus all the other specialties you expect from Complete Care. Level up your health with us. The Complete Care Health Network. No games, just great health care for everyone. Quinn Broadcasting, in association with the Northeast Atlantic Football League, presents Cobra Football. Let's join the action as the Cobras take on their rival. Here's your commentators for today's exciting game. We're back at Jim Hersey Stadium here in Bridgeton, New Jersey, where a very dramatic play ended the first half and gave us the only touchdown of the first half. It was the Cobras benefiting on that. A uh, pass play that was intercepted, a fumble, as we'll take a look at it again here. Here's the throw by Mears. It got intercepted by the one player I don't have a name for, number 44. And then he gets one, he miss, makes one guy miss. He's hit about the 26-yard line, and that will be about a 25-yard scamper by Tamar Jackson after he got the ball on the, uh, the ball that just flew back up into the air on the hit by Henry. Yeah, that's a... Uh... That's a way you want to end up, up, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, zero zero, and you're looking for a big play, and then you get something like that. It's crazy. Yeah, the interception was made. Uh, good run back. It looked like it was going to be, but uh, again, Rolando Henry, give him a lot of credit for just going after the uh, return man, yeah. knocked the ball loose, and Johnny on the spot was Tamar Jackson, 
picked it up at around the 25 yard line and ran it the rest of the way he waved everybody else goodbye and uh, <laughs> six points were on the board right there at the last play of the uh, first half yeah but, you know they needed someone needed to score and uh it was unsu- un- unsuspected it was going to be like that, but uh, they pulled it off, and, you know, they got in the end zone first. So, you know, the Vikings got to step up now the second half and uh, retaliate back in the end zone. Well, let's see. I try to keep some stats here for this game. Uh, the running t- attack for the Cobras has been decent. Uh, they have uh, seven carries for Campbell, 38 yards, and Javon James, a couple of big runs. Uh, he has five carries for 40 yards. So the running game working a little bit better for the Cobras than it did last week. Oh, yeah. The Bullies really shut them down, especially in the second half. So that's uh, those are the numbers. A uh, couple of completions by uh, Magic Mears. Uh, completed two passes with 21 yards. He threw two interceptions technically, but the Cobras get a touchdown after the second interception because of a fumble created by Rolando Henry and the pickup by Jackson to take it into the end zone. So that is pretty much how the first half went. Uh, not much statistically for the Cobras. In fact, a lot of uh, negative numbers you mean here. the Vikings. <laughs> I've never used these names. Yeah, these the names. Vikings. The Vikings. Yep, but uh, they just couldn't get their offense going either. Uh, lots of punts. Had that nice pass to 17. Um, yep. Started to, Had a couple good runs. Uh, it, it looked like they're just trying to get used to their offense today too, a little bit, a little bit off. But uh, the second half, you know, Coach going to talk to them, Coach Case, and uh, – Get these guys worked up and uh, ready to uh, try to find that end zone and, and change this game around. So the Central Jersey Vikings do get the opening kickoff for the second half. Let's see if they can turn things around on their offense. We'll have that for you momentarily. Stay with us here on Quinn Broadcasting Facebook Live, Quinn Broadcasting YouTube Live, and make sure that you follow us on those two. You subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram as well, QBC TV, for all the activities that go on here on Quinn Broadcasting. We'll be back with the second half right after this. Many people treat their health like a game. With the Complete Care Health Network, it's easy to start your health care journey. Our mental health services focus on the emotions and behaviors that affect your overall well-being and features psychiatric, counseling, and addiction services, including our exclusive Fresh Start program designed to help combat the opioid epidemic in our communities, plus all the other specialties you expect from Complete Care. Level up your health with us. The Complete Care Health Network. No games, just great health care for everyone. I'm Bart Feldman and this is TNF Camera. We are a full-line photographic studio and camera store. We invite you to come in and take a look at the products and services that we provide from youth sports, high school sports, school pictures, and a wealth of photographic equipment. The advantages of coming to a store is you have the ability to talk to people and see exactly what you want to purchase beforehand. It's TNF Camera, 1362 South Delsey Drive here in Vineland. Are you just part of the crowd? Do you feel isolated and alone? Do you wish someone would see your gifts? Would you like to be seen as an individual? A person of value. Full of life and purpose. Part Part of of a a family family that that cares. cares? Many people treat their health like a game. With the Complete Care Health Network, it's easy to start your health care journey. Our mental health services focus on the emotions and behaviors that affect your overall well-being and features psychiatric, counseling, and addiction services, including our exclusive Fresh Start program designed to help combat the opioid epidemic in our communities, plus all the other specialties you expect from Complete Care. Level up your health with us. The Complete Care Health Network. No games, just great health care for everyone. Quinn Broadcasting, in association with the Northeast Atlantic Football League, presents Cobra Football. Let's join the action as the Cobras take on their rival. Here's your commentators for today's exciting game. Back at Jim Hersey Stadium, Fred Melendez along with John Saplinski. We have the opening kickoff in the second half just about set as the Cobras will be kicking to the Vikings. Cobras leading 6 to nothing. On a play that you draw up in practice every day, right? <laughs> yeah. Let the other team intercept it, have somebody hit the uh, return man, knock it loose, and have one of your receivers right there to make a play. Yeah, and, and <laughs> march it in the end zone. <laughs> so the Cobras will be kicking off. 
Looks like Kenneth Kalk back there, 22. That's exactly who it is. Going at, at, we know him as Kenny Breeze. Line drive kick, take it at the 21-yard line, return across the 25, 30. Still going. He's still going. He is met at the 40-yard line. He was dragging 30 on his back, wasn't he, there yes, for he a second? Yes, he was. <laughs> he had a tail. Hubbard with the tackle, but a great return for the Vikings. Yeah, it was, it was a good return. Let's see if they get this offense going. The uh, Cobra defense has had a lot to do with the fact that the Vikings haven't run too much. That was Gibson, Raquan Gibson on the return. Good one. To the 41-yard line. So the Cobras just one score away. They just need to put some uh, offense together here. Their quarterback, Tamal Coles, he's had a couple of bad snaps that he's handled pretty well. Yeah, he did. He did. A couple of low snaps that he scooped up, and uh, even though he was sacked on one of them, he's done the best he could. Anytime you get a bad snap like that, you never know what's going to come up. Yeah, it's, center's got a lot to, on his mind already. If you give him a wet ball and he's got a guy in his face or a linebacker stunting, then, you know, you got a heavy wet ball, you want to get it back there. So, you know, I don't judge. I was a center. I get it. <laughs> First and ten. Vikings from their own 41 yard line. Two wide receivers to both sides of the line of scrimmage. Good snap from center. Gets it off quickly, and it is caught great. near the 50 yard line. Good zip pass that number time. Number eight. Looks like number eight. Yeah, yeah, receiver number eight just came down with that. That was the man who returned uh, the kickoff. Raekwon Gibson. Yeah, good hands. So a good start on this series, a pickup of eight. It was a gutsy throw. He put it right on the money. Second and two from the 49-yard line for the Central Jersey Vikings. As we watch again, just a quick throw. Nailed his receiver right in the gut and taken down at the 49-yard line. Tackle made by number one, that's Bryce Barton. <laughs> for the Cobras, second and two. Very manageable for the Vikings here from their own 49 yard line. Empty backfield this time. Tamal Coles now moves over center. Now he'll drop back. Just making sure everybody's ready because it's just kind of walking around back there. Second and two. Again, the, Co the Cobras crowd the line of scrimmage. That's a lot of guys in the box. Yes, there are. There's Cheesebro coming around that Cheesebro edge. Gets the quarterback to spin away. Pass man caught again. at the 45 yard line. Same player, Raquan Gibson with the catch, and he's got enough for the first down. Yeah. Looks like his favorite guy right now. Yes, he is. <laughs> back to back catches. Back to back catches. We got something going on. <laughs> Ball spotted at the Cobras 46 yard line. Good spin move there by the quarterback, and then he found the open receiver at the 45 yard line. Yeah, Cheeseboro's been getting back there quite a bit. Getting a lot of pressures <laughs> um, this whole game. Uh, you, know, you gotta gotta get a hand on him. He did a good job of spinning away from Cheeseboro to get yeah, back. Yeah, he did. He did. Play it. Make it happen. First and ten from yeah, the he, forty-six. He might have said, "Put that single back over on this left side to help out a little bit that tackle." Long count. They'll hand it off this time and getting maybe a you know, good, okay. good forward movement right there. About two, two, three yards. I think they're the going to give him three. Maybe Khalil Sly just kept going forward. He was hit at the line of scrimmage, but he gets a couple. Three actually. Second down and seven at the 43 yard line of the Cobras. Yeah, you know, had that little success on offense, it gets your momentum going. And see yeah. that, that's what the Vikings can do here. Second and seven. Again, an empty backfield. Everybody on the uh, receiver front. Go 
Foles awaits the snap. Straight drop back, has time to throw. He's hit as he throws it by Cheaper. He got the receiver there near the 40 yard line. Good coverage by Kenny Everett. Trayvon Blakey with the catch. Again, a good job of getting the ball out. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's showing he could, he, he could throw the ball and these receivers are catching it for him. You know, he's got about three or four uh, completions right now to start this uh, drive. Looks like third and, third and six. Yep, at the 41 yard line. When you get that momentum going. You get yeah, they're just building confidence right now. You know, they got to e e each play, each, uh, each quarter, each week, just keep building that confidence up. Coles has looked sharp on these last couple passes. Single wide receiver set to both sides of the line of scrimmage on third down, third and five. Uh, they tried to pick up the blitz, but good job of pursuing the quarterback there. Number 23, 23 on the <laughs> So the ball is back at the 46 yard line, loss of five. Good pursuit, and again, number four on the scene as well. Boy, that wind is coming in here, isn't it? I'm feeling <laughs> it's blowing it. your papers all yeah. over the place. I'm a big bear and I'm cold. <laughs> it's blaring out there. So it's fourth and 10. Cobras appear to be keeping their offense on, or are they going to punt the ball? Fourth yeah, and ten. Good. Coles is walking off to the sideline, so they're going to punt the ball. It's amazing how the promising drives just end suddenly. Yeah. You get a sack at the end of, on a third down play. And still no ring. I mean, knock on wood right now. These guys are blessed <laughs> today to avoid it. Well, you know, I looked at the weather forecast on these great inventions we have here. Oh, yeah, our, and our handheld computer. Basically, it was only showing wind, no rain. Really? So, so it pushed out. That's what we have. Yeah. It's definitely never windy. trust Mother Nature. <laughs> I just. Well, they did say once uh, in a time ago, it's not nice to fool Mother Nature. I don't remember <laughs> that, that commercial. And as soon as she said that, she would throw her arms up and you'd hear the thunder. Yeah. <laughs> They're discussing something. Uh, I'm not sure what it is they would be discussing. So we'll just uh, watch them talk. <laughs> not sure what they could be talking about. The, the sack was made. There were no flags thrown, uh, so we are ready to go. It's fourth and 15 for the Vikings. Cam Bell back to receive a punt. He's stepping back to his 25 yard line. Okay, I was wondering why they weren't getting delay game, but the whistle just blew, so. We still have about 25 seconds on this play. And now we have still changes for the Vikings. The quarterback is not among those changes, so it will be a punt formation. Yeah, 17 looks like he's back there for a punt. Fourth and 15. See if the Cobras again come and rush the punter. They got a late start this time. They're going to try a fake punt. Ooh, someone's in his face. Oh, I don't know about that call. Ooh, they were waiting for him there, number 13. 13 was the first one there. That's Marsheed Henry. It looks like 33 maybe? Or 77. 
77 is there. For that, that's Burnell Barnes. But I don't know about this play. Fourth and 15, and you're trying to run a fake? Yeah, 15 is quite a, quite a, quite a long ways. I'll tell you what, Barnes did put a good hit there, number 77. He's got some size. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Louis, Luis Palmer had nowhere to go with that. So the Cobras wind up with tremendous field position again at the 42-yard line of the Vikings, leading 6 to nothing, and you know they'd like to add to that at least an insurance touchdown. You know, you hear ears back. Can we run that play before the half? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we run that yeah, interception? Let's, let's try that again. Try that interception. Now, Tamal, the quarterback for the Vikings, Tamal Coles, is out discussing something with one of the officials. Not sure what that's about. We're ready to go. 44-yard line of the Vikings is where the Cobras begin this drive. I formation behind the quarterback yeah. mirrors. Old fashioned I formation. Yeah, this is a new setup for the uh, Cobras. One of my favorite. The deep man gets the ball. That is Bell, gets two blocks in front of him, cuts it back. Still going. Oh, look at him just juke and jive his way wow. for 10 yards. 10 yards. It may be enough for a first down. We'll see. It's a good run by Cam Bell. <laughs> I like the way he set up his blocks, too. Watch the you set up of the blocks. Yeah, get a little double team on the outside there to get yep. the linebacker 13 caught in. He cuts it back. 26 gets a hand on him. And then he cuts back cuts again. Cuts it back again. <laughs> That's yeah. a great run. Yeah, a little power running. He's just a yard shy of the first down, so he picked up nine. <laughs> Sets up second down and one from the 35-yard line. Staying in it. Same formation. Bell is the deep back. And he will get the carry up the middle this time. He's got a first down, and he's going to scoot near the 30-yard line. So new set of downs for the Cobras. And so far, so good on this drive. That is uh, the ensuing drive of a fake punt. First and 10 from the Viking 31-yard line. Cobras trying to add to a 6-0 lead. Once more, it looks like they're going to try the I formation. Although Bell's not the deep back. The deep back this time is Javon James. He gets the carry. He has met at the line of scrimmage. Good defense. Good job of blocking up the hole. Yeah, they uh, shut it down really quick. Siler, there you see, on the tackle. It was kind of like a little cutback. Like they were trying to, you know, divert the defense to follow Cheeseboro on that outside and he cut it inside and they were waiting for him. It's good D. Right at the line of scrimmage. Yep. Isaiah Siler was ready for it. Just a one yard run. Second and nine from the 30. Same players on the field, same formation by the Cobras. Mirrors behind center. Again, they'll hand off to the deep man. This time, a little more running room and just powering his way. We have a flag late. Oh, boy. And that might be a shame because that was a good Holy. pickup by James, and it is a 10-yard holding penalty. Yep, here it is. The eye in the sky. Could be right there in the backfield. I like the way James, though, powered his way for everything he could get. Spotted at the 37-yard line after the 10-yard penalty. It'll stay second down from the 37-yard line. Third, uh, second down and 16. Oh, 
Again, the Cobras would like to add to their lead. Third quarter action here from Jim Hersey Stadium. Mears over center. Drops back to throw. He has his man at the 32-yard line. Good cut. And down near the 20. 24 getting him down. Catch made by Troy Smith. Look like they're, you know, a little more warmed up here. It's real close to the first down. Ball was spotted at the 21. And not, are they, are they going to move the chains? Looked like the official was indicating that. Yeah. So it was enough for the first down. First and 10 from the 21 yard line for the Cobras. Hand off, off the right side, Solid. getting some room to run. Across the 10 yard line, Cam Bell. Again, watching him run is a pleasure because once he gets going, he gets going. Yeah, he followed uh, that fullback, uh, Cheesebro. He put him at fullback the second half, and uh, he's been doing a great job opening up some holes. Yeah, just, he's, the just, he's just following him. Yep, he actually shedded two blockers there. Shed two defenders, I should say. But Campbell riding that wave and getting it inside the 10-yard line. A little more effective when they're changing it up. Uh, when they were staying in just that strictly, you know, passing game spread, you know, you're giving the defense a little bit of time to, uh, you, you know, protect and uh, see what you're doing. But when you change it up, you're seeing the pace change too. You know, going back to them runnings and going to that eye formation and change up the formations, it's helping them right now. Now they're moving the ball back. Uh oh Maybe he was out of bounds. <laughs> uh, Is that what they're saying? Out of bounds, maybe? I did not see a flag. Yeah. Might have, might have got a toe out of bounds before he cut it up. I'm not sure. But, you know, uh, both teams are looking for their first offensive touchdown on the season. So, we, that first one was it. That was what it was at that. The, the rookie turnover. Duke. The rookie Duke. Yeah. Yeah, that was the. Off uh, a turnover. Yeah, yeah, off a turnover. So, it's second down and. Six, ball at the 17 yard line. Again, a handoff. Oh no, he oh, fakes me up. Has him. Oh, oh, he got away with a push, and I don't blame. <laughs> He's looking. I don't blame Jackson for that reaction. Now, see, that's this. This is where it can get ugly. That should have been a flag, my friends. He got pushed, and that's why he's upset. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, we got we got the replay. That a great fake because Mears had me faked out. A lot of air on that ball. It's coming down. Yeah, you got some hands on him. No call though. I believe that'll bring up third down. Although the marker says second. <laughs> being retrieved and given to the official. Yeah, it's got to be third down. I'm not sure why it still says second down on yeah, the side. Yeah, he might have forgot to uh, flip it. Shotgun formation by Mears. The wind is blaring. Look at them referees. <laughs> Their pants are just blowing. I know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's wind. Hand off. Bell tries to break outside, cuts it they back in, him. and then he's going to get hit right at the line of scrimmage. 26 again for the Central Jersey Vikings. Another nice tackle. It sure was. I, I, I see Isaiah, his name. Yeah. yeah, I can't pronounce it. Do you not Isaiah, me? Isaiah Mana Plazer. Mana Plazer. I got that pronunciation. I wasn't from the, trying to do it. I was going to let you do it. Yeah, Mana Plazer <laughs> is how you say his last name. Yeah. So no gain. I don't know if I missed it down because now they're showing third down. 
my count it would be third or fourth down because they've had three plays. Yeah. It's still at the 17-yard line, so we'll see how the uh, Cobras can handle this play, maybe get a first down or a touchdown here. Single wide receiver split to both sides. Yeah, a little offset split there. Shotgun formation by Magic Mears. It's a big play for the defense. That's oh, time to throw. Gets goodness. it off and oh, incomplete. 19 with a hit on Mears. Yeah, he came from the blind side and yeah. he laid the hit. That's Devinti Sims or Devante Sims. Take a look at it here. I don't think Mears saw him coming. No, he came on his blind side there. And he's free. Bam. Out of the hands of Luala. So now it's fourth down. Last chance on this drive. They can get a first down. Even if I had a kicker, with that wind, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not even going for it. Yeah, it looks I, like 40 mile per hour winds out there. Well, it does look like it's going in the direction that the Cobras are going. But they don't, as I... Yeah, actually, you see that gray jacket. It is yeah. blowing that way. I mean, it could help. So the, the wind would help, but I don't think the Cobras have a legit kicker, and that's why they're going for it here. Again, they can still get a first down. Mears awaits the snap. Looks to his right, and he overthrows the receiver. Yep, turnover on downs. Yep, did not make the hook Still, up there. Just, just can't capitalize on one of these drives to uh, find the end zone. You know, and they've had about, what, five drives this game? They had about five drives this game and then last game. And just can't get in that end zone. Vikings trying too, so, you, you know, they're both trying to get that, that first offensive score. And that's the fourth quarter, right? Yeah, we reached the end of the fourth quarter, and again, since the third time quarter. is kept on end the field. The third quarter. End of the third. End of the third. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to change sides, and the Vikings will have possession when we return. It's 6 nothing. Cobras over the Vikings. We'll be right back. Many people treat their health like a game. With the Complete Care Health Network, it's easy to start your health care journey. Our mental health services focus on the emotions and behaviors that affect your overall well-being and features psychiatric, counseling, and addiction services, including our exclusive Fresh Start program designed to help combat the opioid epidemic in our communities, plus all the other specialties you expect from Complete Care. Level up your health with us. The Complete Care Health Network. No games, just great health care for everyone. Quinn Broadcasting, in association with the Northeast Atlantic Football League, presents Cobra Football. Let's join the action as the Cobras take on their rival. Here's your commentators for today's exciting game. Fred Melendez along with John Saplinski right here at Jim Hersey Stadium. It's a 6-0 lead for the Cumberland Cobras. Scoring at the end of the first half on one of the freakier plays you'll see. <laughs> We'll describe that again later on towards the end of the game. That's going to definitely be on the weekly highlight, right? You there guys you do. <laughs> yeah. The Vikings taking over on downs to start this fourth quarter. Long count, and the Cobras come across the line of scrimmage. We'll see the indication. It is encroachment. And the Cobra sideline not happy to see that. So free five yards. Ball is now at the 22 yard line, first and five. Once again at quarterback number 11, Tamal Coles. Cobras just want to get in on the quarterback. See them just playing around that line of scrimmage. Yeah, they're putting, you know, eight guys in the box. Back to throw. Uh oh. They do complete wow. it. They were looking for that play earlier. And getting to about the 23 yard line. You see that pressure was put on the quarterback. He got that out of there just in time. Catch by number six for Brister. the Vikings. Yep, Justice yeah, Brister. Yeah, Justice Brister. Brister. 
Yeah, he was getting hawked down in that backfield. And, uh, he got the he got a nice ball off. And nice game. Apparently, they don't get the first down. Two yards short. Two yards short. So it's second down. Second and a couple for the Vikings. Snap is good. Back again to throw. A little screen. Incomplete. Tripped up there. Receiver looks like he tripped. So we'll bring up third and short. A couple of Viking substitutions. You see them walking into the huddle. And for the most part, it's been a pretty evened out game here. Um, a lot of struggle on the offenses on both sides. Some good, good, you know, the, the running game for the uh, the Cobras tremendously improved since last week. Um, Vikings had some nice opportunities passing today. They just neither team can just get that offense clicking to find that end zone, you know, for three quarters. So a key third down for the Vikings. They need to get to the 27 yard line, third and about three. Single back, twins right. Again, waiting for the count, uh, the snap, I should say, man comes in motion to the near side. Again, a low snap. The wow. pressure is wow. definitely on, no and he had no block. chance. Cheese bro again. Tamal Coles had no chance as a few of Cobras came in, and it was Cheesebro that got there. Early pressure by number 30 as well, Nigel Hubbard, on the Gual Hubbard, I should say. He had the early pressure, and Cheeseboro finishes it. So the ball back at the 10 yard line. Yeah, you got to keep a man on him. Punt formation coming up for the Vikings. And the Cobras should wind up with excellent field position once more. Has he got Cam Bell back there? Yeah, Cam. Standing at about the 43 yard line awaiting the punt. Now, the wind will favor this punt. Wind blowing from our left to right. Just want to get a good snap here since you're standing at your own goal line. Timeout. Timeout by the Vikings, I believe. Yep, the official lets us know. Yeah, you don't want anything bad to happen on this snap because you're right there at the goal line trying to kick it away. So they'll line up once again to get a punt off as one of the coaches for the Vikings on the field. Yeah, it's Coach Case and Coach Gardner down there. Mm -hmm. talking to the guys. You know, last time they punted, you know, they went for that fake and uh, were unsuccessful quick. I mean, they shut it down. I mean, it, was, uh, it was a tough play to uh, run in that situation. And they have similar yardage here. But I don't think you'd risk it at the goal line. Oh, no, not there. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you got you to gotta try to boot that ball out of there. A little bit of conversation going on at the line scrimmage there. Just about set for the pump formation. Luis Palmer will handle the punt at the goal line. Good snap. Oh, oh he got it off the side goodness. of his foot. Might be out at the five it or six. goes directly out of bounds. Yeah, it looks like the six or seven yard 
Yeah, about the six or seven. Boy, that's that was a bit of a disaster. We'll take a look at what happens here. Right on the side of his foot. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, right on the side yep. of his foot, right out of bounds. Well, the Cobra's getting a very big advantage here. Yeah, it's a big break. The ball is being spotted. Looks like at the seven. Seven yard line. Yeah. Four plays to get seven yards. Hey, you know it's a uh, go for the end zone, you know? Absolutely. Mears takes his team into the huddle. See number zero in on for the Cobras, A.J. Empson. You see Jackson, who has the only touchdown of the game, number 11. First and goal from the seven-yard line. Cobras again trying to add to their 6 nothing lead. Over center this time. Mears hands off to Bell. Looks for a running lane. Gets inside the five. The ball came out well after the tackle. That was actually oh, number Epson. zero. Yeah, yeah. Zero, yeah. Epson. Epson. Yeah. So he's now got some stats in the game. Four-yard run. Second and goal. Near the three-yard line. It's a double wide receiver set up, two to each side. Single setback on second and goal. Once again, Epson, oh, oh, he got nailed great. right Defense. in the uh, team. 26. Yep. Yeah. There he is. The, the name I'm going to leave to you. <laughs> Isaiah Mona Plazer. There you go. He's been making a lot of big plays. Yeah, Plazer hit him with a laser, but he did. Yeah, <laughs> that was a real strong hit right at the point of yeah, impact he'll, right there. He'll lower, lower the boom. And give credit for Epson. He still managed to get forward after that hit. And look, at him, he says, All right, that's okay. Good hit. Good hit. <laughs> but he still moved the ball to the one yard line. How about yeah. that. I like that. I gave him credit for that hit. Third and goal from the one-yard line. Cobras, again, trying to double their advantage. Epson again gets it, goes forward, and he is in the end zone. Touchdown. Just a good surge. Three good runs. Yeah, that's the uh, first AJ offensive Epson. touchdown yep. of the season right there. Good job, but just stay forward running, and we'll see it here. Again, good blocking up front, and he just powers his way. Even though there was some resistance there, Epson manages to get it across the goal line for the touchdown. So the two-point conversion coming up for the Cobras. First one that was not successful. We'll see if they can make the second one. Bell is back in the backfield for this conversion attempt. The two wide receivers to both sides of the line of scrimmage on this conversion. Mears over center. Looks to his left, airs it up, oh. and it's almost caught. Look like number 19. Let's see who that is. 19 for the Cobras is Rolando Henry. 16 was the defender on that for the Vikings. So he tried to make that catch, did not come up with it. Conversion fails, but the touchdown is on the board and a little bit of insurance for the Cobras. They lead fourth quarter, 12-0. Cumberland leads Central Jersey. We'll be back with the kick in a moment. I'm Bart Feldman, and this is TNF Camera. We are a full-line photographic studio and camera store. 
We invite you to come in and take a look at the products and services that we provide from youth sports, high school sports, school pictures, and a wealth of photographic equipment. The advantages of coming to a store is you have the ability to talk to people and see exactly what you want to purchase beforehand. It's TNF camera, 1362 South Delsey Drive. Quinn Broadcasting, in association with the Northeast Atlantic Football League, presents Cobra Football. Let's join the action as the Cobras take on their rival. Here's your commentators for today's exciting game. Well, the Cumberland Cobras taking advantage of a bad punt. Take three plays to get it into the end zone from seven yards away. The touchdown, a one-yard run by A.J. Empson. And they lead 12 to nothing. Cobras getting set to kick. Line drive kick taken at the 20-yard line. One. Across the 25, he's got some running oh, there he room, goes. breaks the tackle across the 40, going. and he is wrestled down, and they're going to get at least a horse collar. The yeah. flag did come out. Yeah, definitely looked like a horse collar from where we're at. Trayvon Blakey with the return, and it's a good one for the Vikings. Now the ball, he got it to the 48-yard line, but we have a flag down that should put the fall, ball, ball forward a little bit further. And the Vikings could definitely use that down by two touchdowns. Yeah. Personal foul. It is a horse collar. So we look at it once again. It's a good run. He dashed it to the left side, picked it up at the 20, and then just took off to the left. Had some running room originally. It's this corner right here. It yep. turns it. And let's see. Mm. Maybe. He had jersey more than horse collar, but <laughs> hey, it looked rough. So hey, sometimes the way it looks is what they call The way it looks, yeah. They're down there at the ground level. They don't have the you know, cameras and all that. That will give the Vikings great field position at the Cobra's 37-yard line to start this possession. They need two scores, so they'd like to make something happen quickly here. Yeah, if you can get one in, anything can happen after that. Central Jersey, and now we have a little bit of uh, back and forth again. Things get heated down there sometimes. Ball spotted at the 37-yard line, first and 10 for the Vikings of Central Jersey. Both teams looking to win their first game of the season. Right now, the Cobras have the upper hand. Yeah, they gotta get the chains lined up properly before we start. Gotta place the one chain at the 37 and then stretch it out. First and 10 for the Vikings. Empty backfield. Tamal Coles awaits the shotgun snap. He's got three receivers split. Two to the right, one to the left. Again, a low snap, quick throw. Is complete. Number one. Breaks a tackle inside the 35. Still on his feet, now dragged out of bounds. About a five-yard game. Blakey with the reception. Just a quick toss. Good job of getting the ball out here. Yeah, Coles they're, just they're, quickly they're, got it out. They're making some good plays today. They just uh, been unfortunate. You know, um, he, he seems like he's a confident quarterback. You know, he's relaxed. It just uh, just a couple things they got to work on. Five yard pickup. They spot the ball at the 32 yard line. Second and five. Have two wide receivers split to the left this time. Snap is good. Pressure is on. He, he avoids it nicely. Wow. 
The throw is caught. Wow. Uh, now he juggled okay. it. He got a first down. He juggled it. Are they going to give him reception? It's the big tight I end. Yes, they are. Number 14 on the reception. That is Chandel Broders Jr. Yeah. But look at the pressure again. Yeah, you get guys in his face again. And he got away and got it off. Yeah, Coles did a good job of scrambling out of that. Yep, got him for a hit out of bounds. I think they did. Yeah, I think yeah. they got it. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, came up and uh, tried to make a tackle, but it was a little too late. So the Vikings really taking advantage of some things here. Two penalties that are really giving them some yeah. fine field This will really position. change a lot around for this team, too, if they can get in that end zone, you know, for the first time uh, this year and uh, give them a confidence booster, build off it. Ball's inside the 15 at the 13-yard line. First and 10, Vikings. Once again, they send two men to the left, one to the right. Tamal Coles at the quarterback spot. Uh, uh oh. We have a penalty. Uh, is it encroachment or is it procedure? It is procedure. Okay. So that'll move the ball back five yards. You don't want to go backwards. It's a good drive right here. And I'll put the ball back at the 18 yard line. And it will become first and 15. Tamal Coles getting set for the handling of the snap. Looking to his left, oh, and good. he is going to be sacked. Oh, he throws ball. it up. Now, whew. boy, he got lucky on that's that. That's an incomplete pass, if anything, right? I'm not sure. It all depends oh, if it, his it, hand was going forward, but uh, got a man down. He had his jersey and spun him, so I'm not sure if it's a fumble or, or an incomplete look. pass. Let's we'll see right. if the hand is he going forward. He avoids here. The big tackle comes, gets a hand on him, spins him. Yeah, that's definitely. Wow. It's close. That's a desperation. I mean, they got the recovery anyways, but yeah. Kenneth Cork was the injured player there. Well, I think it's uh, Cheesebro 4. Oh, Cheesebro. The Cheesebro 4 is now. Okay. Yeah, looks like his oh, ankle. Yeah. Uh, he's very ginger on that. That left uh, leg, ankle were. Could have got caught up under the pack or just in pursuit and twisted up an ankle. Yeah, he's been dominant all game on defense. That's uh that's a tough one. Well, they get him to the sideline. So I'm guessing they call that an incomplete pass. As the ball is still at the 18 yard line. Second down. Second and 15. Vikings lining up to run the second down play. They have two receivers to both sides of the line of scrimmage. Coles is set for the snap. Back to throw. He's got a man in the end, so he's going to overthrow him. Yep, tried to hit that man right there, who's number eight. Let's see if we can get a name for that. Number eight for the Vikings would be a Raquan Gibson. Yeah, they're trying to get in that end zone. Just, you know, like you said, a little overthrown. Um, big, now nah, it's a fourth down, fourth and 15. I 
I thought it was third. Well, the down marker says fourth down. There was a penalty, and I'm not sure it isn't third down, but I can't keep track of the downs all of a sudden because <laughs> we have to rely on what's on the field. You got that right. But in my head, I'm counting the plays, and there was a penalty, so there was no play run on first down. We'll just call the play. What can I say? <laughs> Ball is at the 18-yard line. Coles. Got that spread formation. Let's see where this quarterback is going to look now. Ooh, a little oh, hesitant on the snap, yeah. but he's still got time. Oh, we got I, a flag. You know what? I Are you allowed to move like that as a quarterback before the snap? Oh. Ball comes out. It's punched out. Oh. Still punched out again. <laughs> the Cobras will wind up with it. We got that flag, though. Uh, I think they, I, I think because of the delay on that snap, somebody's going to be called for offsides. Um, you see everyone moving. I think the quarterback was uh, – on. well, actually, it's on the offense. It's deferred, so offset, whatever. And, or, sorry, declined. They declined it, so it's the Cobra's ball. Well, all that activity, Bryce Bartley came up with the loose football in the end. So the Cobras will get the ball on the uh, fumble. Yeah, there was a delay on that snap, so, you know, I'm assuming then it was uh, offsides on the offense. They're going to place the ball at the 15-yard line, and the Cobras will have it. They've got the 12-0 lead. And right now we're at a point where they just want to move the football, move the chains. They have to be a decent amount into this fourth quarter. Yeah, this game is coming to an end soon. Got a score from earlier in the... Uh, we had a double header with another league over in Philadelphia, the Owls and the New Jersey Militia on the Tri-County Owls. The New Jersey Militia move on to 2-0 on the season. A 20-8 victory over the Tri-County Owls puts them at 1-1 in the league. So that was a good game. They, they started off in the rain. Magic Mears waits the snap from center. Again, two receivers to both sides of the line of scrimmage for the Cobras. Single setback. That man gets the carry, bounces it outside. I'm guessing that's Bell. Let's see if I can see number yeah, it's, Oh, it's number it's zero, Epson. Oh, no. These numbers are going to drive me insane this year. <laughs> they got a little, little. That's Bell. Yeah, they're, uh, they got a little, like, art form on some of the numbers. <laughs> like the sevens, I can't tell if that's a seven or a half three. Or a three-quarter three. <laughs> Like 67. Like yeah. I keep looking yeah. for a three. Right. But it's, it's, I don't know what that thing is on the seven. Seven yard pickup. It'll be second down and three. Ball spotted at the Cobra's 22 yard line. You know, they got a two touchdown lead. You know, they build their confidence to try anything that they wanted to try all game. Now's the time to try it. Bell is right next to. Mears on this second down play. Oh, they, the direct snap. Great defensive read. Yeah, a little bit of a wildcat type of play. Yeah. Might Defense actually, rather well. Yeah, might have lost a yard. I mean, as soon as he snapped that ball, went to go, the defense was on his face. He had nowhere to go. Still at the 22, so no gain on the play. It'll bring up third down. They need to get to the 25 to move the chains. So we'll see what the Cobras pull out here on third and three. Fake handoff. The throw is complete. First down. Tamar Jackson. Tamar Jackson on the reception. Looks like 5-18 and 18 on the tackle there for the Vikings. Well, Ty Brim is number five. Good play yeah. here. Good fake. 
and just a nice quick easy toss jackson makes the catch 18 on the lead tackle right there that's the andre carter otherwise yeah. known as dre yeah great open for Pick up of 16 on the pass. First and 10 from the 38 yard line now. Yeah, he's just trying to uh, stride downfield and uh, end this game. And uh, for them, hopefully, they put it away. And, uh, you know, the Vikings, they still got a little hope. I mean, if you can make a big play and get one score in, I mean, you're in this game. But I know there ain't that much time left. There's not a lot of time to make a big play. On first down, again, a double wide receiver set. Handoff. Well, that closed up nicely, but breaking loose and still on his feet. He's trying to get around the outside. He ran for a lot of yards, but didn't pick <laughs> up many. That is Tamar Jackson on the carry. Yeah, number five, and uh, I think it's number through 17, possibly. Five and 17 finally brought him down. A lot of good dipping and dodging there, but not too much picked up. <laughs> Ball is at the 42-yard line, so four yards in total. Second down and six. Ball at the 42-yard line for the uh, the uh, Cobras. Here's again, just hands off. New Ooh. player in the game. Number Shoelace tackle there. That's. Kenneth Cork on the carry. That's 28. 28. I'm glad we have the uh, monitor. <laughs> the monitor because it gives us a better view. 28 is Anthony Faison. Yeah, nice shoelace tackle by the defense out there. Got a, got a hand on his foot. From the 43-yard line, it's a third down for the Cobras. And four wide receivers out. Mears throwing it deep. And it's knocked down. Great defense. Number 17 for the uh, Vikings. Good coverage by Tavon Holman right there. Yeah. Just stayed with his, yep. it says Palmer in his jersey. Yeah, kept a, kept a hand on the receiver and turned around and got that hand up and blocked that ball down. It's a good play. Good coverage on it. Mears got it down as far as he could throw it. He just uh, heaved the ball down the field. And the receiver is nicely covered there, and it says Palmer in his jersey, so I guess that's who it is, Palmer. Palmer. Trying to see if they have a Palmer on the roster here. There yep, there he is. Fourth down. Cobra's lining up as if they're going to go for it here. They need about five yards. Here's hands off. And again. again, met at the line of scrimmage. Number 48, <laughs> yeah, I believe, got him yeah. tripped. Faison really didn't get a chance to get started. He shot him low and... Uh, Big, big tackle there. Send him in the air. Kyle Mayer on the tackle. And that will mean that the Vikings get the ball. Yeah, it might be the final time. Uh, one last drive. Well, they'll just be looking to get on the scoreboard to break the shutout. Don't want to be shut out back-to-back -back weeks. They spot the ball at the Cobra's 45-yard line. That is where the Vikings take over. A whole slew of changes walking into the game now for the Vikings.
look to see if number 11 is out there at quarterback. I don't see how he's walking. Oh, there he is. Probably coming back. Yeah. And went to the sideline for a moment to get a last second instructions. First and 10 for the Vikings. I would think he'd put the ball in the air at this point of the game. I want to try to get a quick strike. Yeah, he's got the arm. He's got the confidence. I mean, he's had a lot of guys in his face this game um, quite a bit. But, I mean, he's he's confident with his passing game. He's made a lot of nice uh, a lot of nice throws. And, you know, he might have, what, about about seven receptions made today from him. Maybe he's up there. He's had quite a few connections. Yeah, eight, eight, eight connections. Okay, yeah. I was close. I figured seven. You're in right. the ballpark. Yeah. Not many yards, but that's okay. Yeah, well, you know, he's a... Uh, he's, He's a change in quarterback. I was at the game last week, and I think it was number 14 was uh, quarterback in last week. Okay. Um, so a change in quarterback from this week. I, I could only stay to halftime last week, so he might have got in last week. Ball is complete to the 41, oh, bouncing off the tackle. Oh. And that might not have been a good idea the way he's turning out. He's still on his feet. <laughs> he's still oh. loose. <laughs> he's got and blocks. And now he's got blockers. Yeah, some blocks. And finally brought down. Campbell finally gets him down. <laughs> That was an exciting run. That might be the game. Uh, now we have a little little pushing and shoving going on. But I'll tell you what, that was a great effort. Raekwon right. Gibson, after the catch, really made quite an effort to get as many yards as he could. He had a tempers flare along the sideline. Never know what to say when I see melees like this. Yeah, yeah. They they broke it down really quick. It was just a few words. Um, so that's good. And there's the completion right there at the 41. Good hit there by Bartley, but he bounced off of that. And Gibson just kept running around, and he got hit again by... He stayed on his feet. He got hit again by Bartley, by Jackson. He got away from 27 at Davis. He had one guy to beat, but he comes around this corner. If he gets on the other side of 58, I think it was, instead of cutting it inside, right there. Yeah, Bell finally brought him down. Looks like the uh, game is over. I like the way he's smiling after that, too. Yeah, that was the final play. It was the final play. Finally, see the smile. He liked what he did. Pretty decent play, and that will be the last play of the game for us. So it's nice to see the handshakes after the little scuffle. Yeah, it's all about friendship. You know, these guys, you know, they're going to face each other again later on. We promote, you know, uh, good behavior, friendship, or brotherhood. And that's all we want, you know, get a little prayer at the end and, uh, you know, love your, love your opponents because without them you ain't got a game. So the uh, Cobras wind up winning this one 12 to nothing. A big-time play at the end of the first half, and they took advantage of a uh, off-the-side-of-the-foot kind of punt that, Set them up at the seven yard line and three plays later they got their second touchdown. So that is our score. Twelve to nothing is the final. We'll take one quick break and wrap it up right after this. Are you just part of the crowd? Do you feel isolated and alone? Do you wish someone would see your gifts? Would you like to be seen as an individual? A person of value. Full of life and purpose. A part, part of, of a family, family that cares. cares. Many people treat their health like a game. With the Complete Care Health Network, it's easy to start your health care journey. Our mental health services focus on the emotions and behaviors that affect your overall well-being and features psychiatric, counseling, and addiction services, including our exclusive Fresh Start program designed to help combat the opioid epidemic in our communities, plus all the other specialties you expect from Complete Care. Level up your health with us. The Complete Care Health Network. No games, just great health care for everyone. Quinn Broadcasting, in association with the Northeast Atlantic Football League, presents Cobra Football. Let's join the action as the Cobras take on their rival. Here's your commentators for today's exciting game. You know. 
So both teams now celebrating the, the game activity and the bigger celebration belongs to the Cobras. At the beginning of the uh, broadcast, we mentioned somebody's going to win their first game of the season. It turns out to be the Cumberland Cobras, if you will, and uh, really the scoring, uh, they took advantage of some breaks. Uh, yeah. There was an interception thrown, a second interception by the Vikings towards the end of that first half. He started running the ball back. I wish I had his name. 44 is all we can tell you because I don't have a 44 on the roster. Yeah, I'll but fix that. He uh, made later. two very nice interceptions. Oh, yeah. Right at well. The first one was even better than the second one, but he got hit on his return, and that hit was made very nicely. Uh, we mentioned that it was uh, made by uh, Rolando Henry. I'll tell you what, when you don't give up on a play, that's what coaches love to see as well. Second effort. Rolando Henry jarred the ball loose, and it popped up into the air where Tamar Jackson was able to pick it up, and he rambled in 25 yards for the eventual touchdown. The last play of the uh, second quarter in the first half led to the first touchdown of the game, and uh, it was quite a, uh, quite a play. The uh, hit by Henry and the catch and run by Jackson to make it happen. It was 6 nothing at the half. Then uh, the uh, other break that happened there for the Cobras, a bad punt from the goal line right off the side of the punter's foot. They put the ball on the seven-yard line, and then three plays later, it was three straight runs, I believe, by Epson, uh, A.J. Epson, and he wound up scoring from a one-yard run. Uh, again, good effort to get into the end zone from the one-yard line. Uh, he was maybe hit at the goal line a little yeah, bit, but he found yeah. his way to, to sneak it in for the touchdown. The two-point conversion is not successful on either attempt, but the important thing is that the Cobras scored the only two touchdowns of the game, and they wind up winning this one by the count of 12 to nothing. Any last words? No, great game. Uh, I'm <laughs> glad I could join you guys again. You know, a game gets postponed to uh, two weeks, and I venture out here, and I get in the booth with you guys again, so I appreciate the opportunity. Well, sorry that we didn't bring the sunshine and blue skies this time. <laughs> but uh, we got the game in, and the Cobras come up with the victory. Uh, our uh, producer, our director, Ryan Narowski, pushing all the right buttons and giving us all those great replays so you saw exactly what happened. Our cameraman capturing the action, Charles Hope. For John Saplinski, I'm Fred Melendez. Hope you enjoyed today's game. And don't forget to uh, follow us on Facebook Live, uh, Facebook Quinn Broadcasting. Follow us as well on uh, Instagram. QBC TV 2, uh, and uh, might leave off the two, right? It's just QBC TV. And, uh, of course, on YouTube, you subscribe to YouTube for Quinn Broadcasting. Final score again, the Cobras beat the Vikings 12 to nothing. Get inside and get warm because it's a cold one, but we enjoyed bringing it to you. Have a good night. This has been a QBC television production in association with our partners and sponsors. QBC broadcasts on Comcast Cable Channel 22 and live streams its programming on Facebook and YouTube. All rights reserved by Quinn Media and QBC. Programming that serves the South Jersey market.